hello everyone welcome back to my channel if this is your first time of seeing me this is health tips with joy htwj we touch topics like reproductive health feminine health mental health social health so if any of this topic is interesting to you you should subscribe and hit on the notification bell so that you will not miss whenever i post my video so today's topic is how to use the mocha sign to select the sex of your baby and it is very controversial because some people feel that we should allow the natural process to do that we shouldn't be the one to select the sex of our baby so let's go into this topic so before we move further i would like to explain some certain terms like mocha sign menses egg whites and also calendar period so the mucus sign is that discharge that comes out from a woman's vagina and it can have different color texture and stretchiness for the different menstrual cycle days of the woman what is a menstrual cycle is the first day that the woman saw her menses and a day to the next menses so the days in between these is called the menstrual cycle if you don't know how to calculate it there's no problem just download an app go to google store or app store depending on the device that you are using whether it is android or apple phone so you just go to google play or app store just type period calendar and you see so many apps that are free and you download so that's what you will use then for the mucus sign mucus sign is the discharge that the woman have it can come in reddish form it can come in off-white it can come in egg white what i mean by reddish form is when the woman is seeing her menses it is red in color then it could be off-white during the wet time of the cycle of the woman before ovulation what the woman will be seeing is a mucus that is not so clear but not too yellowish so like off-white then the egg whites is that part of the egg that you get that is not the yolk the other part that they call albumin that is transparent that looks like water but slippery and transparent that's the egg whites so let's move on i might teaching you this method of using the cervical mucus to discover the sex of your baby the reason is because it works for me and it works for so many other people i was actually taught during my marriage class and this method has been applied in so many countries and so many women testify that it worked positively for them another reason why i'm teaching this method is because not everybody can afford ivf in vitro fertilization not everybody can afford it is very expensive but if you can afford it then this course is not for you but if you can't let's move forward so in ivf is actually the only method currently that is 100 percent proof that can successfully select the sex of your baby by the scientific world that's the only one they approve but it is very expensive and not everybody can afford it and it's not natural it's like the, it's like artificially selecting the sex of your baby so there are a lot of ethical issues with ivf some school of thought are like they should make it unethical while some are pushing that uh, it shouldn't be open like that like it's not something people should be advertising like there are a lot of ethical issues unresolved ethical issue around ivf but this method i'm going to teach you has no such issue at all so for us to even use it you have to understand the mucus sign the menstrual cycle so you have to understand your menstrual cycle using the app i asked you to download earlier and you have to understand your mucus sign so the way to understand your mucus sign i'm going to leave a chart a link for you to get a chart that you can use to chart your mucus cycle so the menstrual cycle the app will help you calculate you just input some information and the app will do that for you but for the mucus sign you have to check it yourself so you have start from the you can start any time of your cycle but it is better to wait until your next 
cycle begins that's your the first day of your menses you start chatting you write down this day let's say today you started your menses you write on the 13th of july 2020 menses 14th of july 2020 menses 16th of july 2020 menses then let's say your you see your period for three days then on the 17th of july 2020 dryness something like that so actually using a 30 days cycle the menses is supposed to be seen the first few days of the cycle so some people they see their own two days three days four days five days six days even some one week so it depends on each woman so the first five days of the menses is the menses or the first six or seven days depending on each woman then the day following that the following those days there will be dryness you are not seeing anything it could be a day it could be two days it could be three days of dryness it also depends on the woman then following the dryness there will start being wetness but the the texture and the degree of the wetness will consistently increase until you get to the wettest day and then the degree of the wetness will start reducing until the person enters dry period again and then another new cycle commence after the scene of a another menses so from this cycle here we can see that the wettest day here is on the 17th what do i mean by the wettest day is the day that the woman saw an egg white the day that the woman saw an egg white that's a mucus that is transparent that looks like water it is transparent completely transparent very soft when you're touching it in between the thumb and the first finger and when you stretch it it is stretchy and does not break as you keep stretching it and i have made a video on how to identify your mucus sign so you can check um, my previous video on the cervical mucus sign and how to use it to get pregnant so but with this you can even understand what we meant by the egg white so you just move it in between your two fingers the thumb and the first finger and if it does not break then that's the egg white and it has to be transparent very soft very slippery so once you see that egg white that's when ovulation is about to occur so let's say you saw it it's possible that you saw it after the egg white has already been released so whenever you see just know that you are you have started ovulating or you are about to start ovulating so this is just explaining menses the different cycle of a woman the menses the wet period and the dry period so during ovulation ovulation is supposed to occur during the wet period that's even why you're supposed to download a calendar app in the first place so that when you're seeing that wetness it's supposed to tally with the calendar prediction of your ovulation for you the the calendar is supposed to be predicting that is from so 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 dates to so 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 dates that you will see your period that's why calendar method is not so efficient because it gives a range of days and range of days is not really efficient but this method using it alongside the calendar method and the temperature method we will let you know when exactly you are having your ovulation so so when you see the wetness it's supposed to tally with the range of days that your calendar method is telling you and it's also supposed to tally with the temperature spike in temperature that you saw because you are going to also chart your temperature so the ovulation is egg white ovulation mucus is egg white soft slippery and stretchy without breaking so you chart your temperature for each day of the of the cycle you can leave a thermometer you can go to a pharmacy store get the thermometer get a booklet keep it in your bathroom so that whenever you wake up as you wake up and go into the bathroom to urinate or to wash your face or brush your teeth or you just take your temperature immediately so you need to take the temperature immediately after standing up from the bed take it early in the morning when you wake up but for the mucus chatting you need to do it in the night before you go to bed do not do it in the morning because a lot of things can happen in the night like you could 
be arose, you could have sex. So if you, whatever you are seeing in that morning may not be your true God's sign. So it's better to do it in the night before you go to bed. So this is an example of how to chart your temperature. So for sex selection, if you want a baby boy, you should do a mucus sign chart a month before you conceive so that in the month of the conception so you have an overview of how your mucus sign chart looks like then on the month of conception you chart until two days after you've seen the egg white to have sex or you can be having sex but with protection then two days after you've seen the egg white you have sex to have a baby and the reason is ovulation occurs a few hours to one day after seeing the egg whites that's why you, you will do it two days after so you'll be sure that ovulation has occurred then if conception did not occur this this following month you can chat until a day before you, after uh, a day after you've seen your egg whites then you have sex and if fertilization did not occur then you can chat till that same day that day go 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 that you saw your egg white <laughs> you have sex that time so that is how to chat for having a baby boy the rationale is based on a scientific method called the Billings method of sex selection so you can research more on this is a proven scientific method Although some school of thought would like to disprove this, saying that it's not exact, but I feel that since it works for so many people, then it is correct. Because the IVF method will actually chart the hormonal levels in a woman to know when the person is ovulating. The, I don't want to bore you with medical terms. Let me not bore us with medical terms. But there is a hormone that is in a woman's blood that they used to chart when a woman is ovulating, when there is a spike in that ovulin, hormone, that is when the woman is ovulating. So this method is also using that period, that hormone, because it is using it indirectly because that hormone affects the mucus texture and color of a woman. So when there is a spike in that hormone, that is when the woman is wettest in her cycle. That is when the woman has the most wet time in her cycle. So as the hormone increases, that's how the the degree of wetness of the woman mucus is also increasing. So the rationale is that the sperm that carries the Y chromosome moves faster, but does not stay longer in the body. It gets absorbed faster by the woman's body. So if the sperm is released when the ovulation has already occurred that means that the sperm that will get to the egg to the ova is the sperm carrying the y chromosome which is the sperm carrying the baby boy chromosome because the woman will donate x and the man will donate y and that will be baby boy as i showed earlier then for baby girl you can have sex until two days before you see the egg whites or a day before you see the egg whites or the day exactly that you see the egg whites that is how to have your baby girl so relationship is that the sperm carrying the x chromosome moves slowly but stays longer in the body so for you to have a baby girl the sperm should be there already before the egg is released the sperm that is carrying x y chromosome should have been absorbed before the egg is released so that is why you can have sex till because you know sperm can spend up to 48 hours in a woman's body 24 to 48 hours in a woman's body so if the sperm is released the ratio of the sperm carrying the y chromosome would have been absorbed would have reduced because it moves faster and is easily absorbed by the woman's body so it would have been absorbed before the ovulation occurred so the ones that will still be remaining will be more will be higher in the sperm carrying s chromosomes so that is the rationale behind selection of the baby gap 
so i hope that you have a good time and until next time subscribe to my channel and if you have any question leave it in the comment section i will answer thank you have a nice day bye